Most people in life are accustomed to the fact that people have the right to the peaceable enjoyment of the place in which they stay, the place in which they lay, and the place in which they play. What I'm talking about is prospectively our space, our physical space, our physical body space. What we know from self-protection seminars across America that have been going on since the late 70s when Bruce Lee brought martial arts to the forefront of our communities and every other martial artist after him has done so with their trainings of our children and our women and our men how to protect themselves in our land and when they travel overseas is that we know that people have to have physical space proximities in the time of covid we have been asked by the government to allow ourselves six feet of general separation they've also encouraged us when we can to wear a mask so that we are protected from our from our own illnesses and we are also protected from other people who might be ill with other illnesses and other diseases who might come in from a foreign land. We have a lot of rec regulations and requirements on what can and can't pass through our borders. We are very clear on this and we're going to have to make more and more adjustments about this with regard to the implementation and the acceptances of scientific minds and students that want to learn more of our social sciences. There needs to be a stop put to this. What I can tell you in the realm of self-defense is that anyone allowed within your arm's length is considered a intimate partner. I don't mean a sexual partner. I mean someone that is trusted near you. What I find amazing is how people come in from foreign lands and they're not preparing themselves correctly for these guidelines and these social rules and social mores. We also have social etiquette and social nuance that helps us to understand when a person has said mildly and politely, I've had enough of your presence. We do not have the right to regulate where people go, play, stay, shop, or do things because that is actually federally protected. We have laws that protect people against discrimination regardless of creed, ra race, uh, and I should say color and openly other aspects of individuality. How a person dresses is up to them. How a person handles their hair and their care is also up to them, motherfuckers. So what I find amazing is the illegal minds, the immoral ideas that men and women, white and black, Hispanic and otherwise, feel that they have the right to demoralize, dehumanize, and patronize a person in the middle of the night who is asleep and in doing so they pretend to be a professional groomer to me and possibly to you they also feel that they have the right to commandeer a body to investigate the internal organs of it without ever asking the person's permission if we have medical practitioners if we have medical doctors if we have nurses if we have clinicians if we have technicians who are willing to do this then we as a nation are completely in trouble because what that means men and women is that, that your beautiful daughters will be commandeered by some white man who wants to fuck her and do something with her without her consent i have to be guttural about some of this because the pastors of america have this idea that they are doing their rights in the world on behalf of god but that is an illegal act that is an immoral act and openly god is not pleased because if god was pleased with our world we would not have COVID. If God was pleased with our world, we would not have disease reminding us of the mortality that each of us has. But even as a pagan, even as someone who loves and appreciates other religions, other texts, other works, other historic documents about society and about how people apply their faith without notoriety, I can tell you that the pastors of America who start to play in people's intimate lives have failed themselves. Most of them do not know enough of their people or their lives to be able to call someone into the office on one idea and then change course on them when they arrive there to verbally assault, abuse, or dehumanize them. What I'm saying to that motherfucking White River Church pastor is I'm coming for you. I'm going to make sure you lose that church of yours, Mr. Tim Brock, because you abused my friend in some name of God and you didn't have her permission, you most certainly didn't have the right to talk about me, motherfucker, because I don't know you at all, other than your dehumanizing sermons that persist and say that you are a better person than anyone else in your congregation. Do not 
continue. Cease and desist your attack on my life. Because God in heaven sees every fucking one of you. Whether you believe in him or not. Whether you like him or not. Whether you appraise him or not. Whether you thank him or not. Whether you please him or not. But those of you who are playing in the shadows. Those of you who are playing in sexual assault games. Those of you who are playing as predators will end up in hell. There is no excuse for you. You absolutely know what the rules of American society are. You absolutely know what the laws of notoriety are. And openly you will put yourself in jail, in prison, or simply, when you die, in hell. Make a choice. Are you going to live in the light of the Lord and do your own life without abusing someone like me? Or are you going to keep playing in the realms of satanic forces that says you are a lord over me or anyone else that you see? You see, you had no right to do that. You've gained no abilities in your own life to be a leader, to be a winner, to be an earner. So please, don't pretend that what you're doing is giving you anything other than a page turner. And your lie is thinking that people don't see you from across the parking lot abusing someone. Your lie is thinking that your family and friends are going to keep tolerating this a lot. And your lie is also thinking that they're not going to eventually turn you in because they do not want to aid and abed your lie. When I reach out to someone, I reach out to someone because God has encouraged it based on the timing the Lord sees. And if you don't understand that God has timing and you have timing and they're completely different most of the time, you're a fool in American culture.